Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the internal arc fault in switchgears, which has the most severe effect in the power systems and is directly related to the safety of the operators and the stall base of the equipment. We will try to understand the reasons which causes the generation of an arc fault within the switchgears. We will also cover the effects of an arc flash on the surrounding environment. In the last part of the video, we will discuss the internal arc classification for switchgear under IEC 62271-200. Hope that you are going to enjoy our discussion. The question may come in our minds that what is an internal arc fault? In the simplest form, an arc fault in switchgears is the result of rapid release of energy due to arc travel through ionized air between phases or a phase and ground. In power systems, an internal arc fault is considered as the most severe type of fault, as its results are quite devastating. If the switch gear installation is a non-internal arc proof, this fault can cause severe injuries to the operators present in the close vicinity of the affected installation and can also cause damage to the nearby installations. It would be right to say that the occurrence of an arc fault can never be completely prevented from the switchgear's perspective, an arc fault is usually considered to be initiated by external factors. However, we can narrow down the possibilities by keeping in view of those factors which are involved in the initiation of an arc fault. The most common cause of an arc fault is the insulation failure. This can be any insulated material used in a switchgear to achieve the dielectric clearance between the life parts and ground. The most common cause of insulation failure is natural deterioration due to the aging effect. Insulation material going through excessive heat due to any reason significantly reduces the life of the insulation. Other factors include contaminated environment, which causes the insulation degradation. Chemicals, if present in the environment, comes in contact with the insulation material, permanently reduces the insulation resistance. Moisture, which is conductive in nature and contain impurities, when it comes in contact with insulation material, it penetrates through the cracks and pores of the insulation. It provides low resistance path and causes failure. Dust in combination with moisture can become conductive and cause creepage which results in an arc fault. In experience, the tendency for an arc fault increases if the manufacturer's recommended practices for product installation are not completely followed during the installation and commissioning phase or these activities are performed by the non-qualified staff. For instance, during the cable termination process, if the certain metallic parts such as cable base plate or auxiliary cable duct covers are removed and are not installed again, or installation is not according to product guidelines, it opens a breach for the foreign objects to come inside the switchgear and causes the initiation of an arc fault. During fastening of cables to the copper pads, if the required guidelines for the fasteners or required tightening torque is not followed, it will cause a sparking which will create heat and eventually may result in the initiation of an arc fault. Further, the arc faults are also initiated due to the damaged or corroded wires and wire terminals. During the commissioning process or during the maintenance period, it is recommended that switchgear should be cleaned thoroughly and all contamination resulting from the installation or maintenance work should be removed. Any kind of leftover fasteners or forgotten tools will result in the initiation of an arc fault. All removed partitions and covers in the bus bar and circuit breaker compartments must be remounted. When the switchgear is energized, the integrated mechanical interlocking system present in switchgear prevents the operator access to different switchgear compartments. Interlocking systems are designed to ensure the safety of operator and the installation. Any attempt to operate the switchgear without understanding the interlocking mechanism or any attempt to bypass the interlocking system may damage it and consequences can be severe in result of an arc fault. It is common to use air as an insulation medium in medium voltage and low voltage switchgears. There are various reasons to use air as an insulating medium, such as it is not harmful to the environment. After breakdown, it restores itself and above all, it is free. However, in the presence of impurities, air becomes conductive at higher temperatures, ranges above 1000 degrees centigrade. Once the arc is ignited within the switchgear, the surrounding air will get ionized and arc will continue to burn at very high temperature until it is interrupted. After the initiation of an arc fault, the electrical energy is first converted into radiation and thermal energy. The bright flash resulting from an arc fault 
is as high as 1 million lux, which is 2000 times higher than the lux level defined for normal office lighting. This bright flash can result in temporary or permanent blindness to the operator working nearby the installation. During an arc fault, the temperature can rise to a level of 20,000 degrees centigrade, which is four times the temperature on the surface of the sun. This heat emerged from this high temperature can burn the human skin and clothing within the fraction of seconds. It can also cause severe damage to the nearby installations. The high temperature resulting from an arc fault liquefies and vaporizes the copper, aluminium and steel parts used in the installation. Since the metal part changes state from solid to vapor, therefore causes volumetric expansion and results in sound and pressure waves. The sound blast result due to an arc fault can be as high as 140 decibels and can cause eardrum rupture, which results in temporary or permanent hearing loss. The high pressure waves generated due to an arc fault can throw the operators working nearby across the room against the wall or any other installation. The molten metal sprayed and the flying metal parts resulting from the explosion can cause severe injuries and equipment damage. The solution to the problem of an internal arc fault is the internal arc classified switchgears as per IEC 62271-200, which prescribe the criteria for the protection of operators in the event of an arc fault. It is important to mention that the initiation of an arc fault cannot be completely disregarded. However, if the switchgears are installed, operated and maintained according to the manufacturer's recommendation, there is a little probability that internal arc fault would occur during the entire lifetime of the installation. The effectiveness of the design to provide prescribed level of protection to the operators against the internal arc fault is defined under IEC 62271-200. Here is an example for internal arc test conducted on a switchgear assembly according to IEC 62271-200. In enclosure to qualify as internal arc classified, the acceptance criteria as defined by IEC 62271-200 should be met after the initiation of an arc fault within the switchgear assembly. The first criteria is that after the test, all doors should remain closed and covers do not open. Second criteria is that no fragmentation of enclosure during the specified time of test. Third criteria is arcing does not cause holes in the accessible sides of the switchgear up to a height of 2 meters. Fourth criteria is indicators do not ignite because of hot gases. The indicators are pieces of cotton clothes placed at designated locations of enclosure to simulate the burning effect due to the emission of hot gases. The fifth criteria is the enclosure should remain connected to its earthing point. You would notice that all these acceptance criteria are for the safety of the operators working in the vicinity of the installation. IEC 62271-200 defines the accessibility class for internal R classified switchgears. Accessibility class A is restricted to authorized persons only. Class B, which is not the part of our discussion, is for unrestricted areas including general public. Letters F, L, N, R represents the sides of the switchgear where the protection is provided in case of an internal arc fault. F represents the front side of the switchgear. R represents the rear side and L represents the lateral sides. If the switchgear installation is against the wall, normally internal arc classification AFL is considered. AFLR classification provides protection in all sides of the switchgear. It is important to note that as per IEC 62271-200, the recommended duration of tests are 1 second, 0.5 second and 0.1 second. The arc ducts provided within the switchgear plays an important role to reduce the pressure within the enclosure in case of an arc fault. These ducts direct the hot gases to the upper side of the switchgear where the gases are exhaust by the opening of flaps on the switchgear roof. These ducts are made in all three compartments of the switchgear containing power components, the cable compartment, the circuit breaker compartment and the bus bar compartment. In addition to the ducts inside the switchgear, there are three different arrangements to further safely channel the hot gases coming out of the switchgear. The first method is the introduction of deflector system on top of the switchgear. 
deflectors direct gases away from front, lateral and rear side of the switchgear. The second method is the introduction of tunnel arrangement, which direct the hot gases out of the switchgear room. The third arrangement is the absorber system, which is also installed on top of the switchgear enclosure. Absorber arrangement due to its construction reduces the pressure and temperature coming out of the switchgear and allow safe vent within the switchgear room. In addition to the channel for venting out of hot gases, switchgear enclosure is equipped with reinforced door arrangement which is equipped with fail-safe integrated interlocking system which guarantees that switchgear doors do not open in case of an arc fault. The doors of non-internal are classified switchgears are simple hinge doors and will open during an arc fault. The purpose of the mechanical reinforcements is to ensure the safety of operators and nearby installation in case of an arc fault. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.